back to another episode of Combat Insiders. We're doing another face-to-face -face series. Uh, this is going to be for the M1 Global card on uh, Thursday, April 4th. Uh, it's going to be on uh, UFC Fight Pass at uh, Winter Haven, California. Junior Mr. Incredible Lugo and Travis Diesel View. Uh, Travis, I guess we're just going to go ahead and get started, man. I'm going to ask you the first question. Uh, according to Shardog.com, this coming up is your 99th MMA fight coming up on 100. Is that any type of milestone that's really even crossed your mind? or? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Probably a couple of years ago I set the goal of getting 100 and then you know, seeing how I felt then, whether I'd be done. But I definitely wanted to get that, that 100 fight mark and then kind of reevaluate things. The next question kind of plays off of that. For you, what was so appealing about taking a fight with somebody who's nearing 100 professional fights? Hey, man, to me, it's an honor getting in the cage with someone that has that much experience because, you know, I wish I would just, I was in the Army for a long time. I didn't get to start until I was, like, 31. So just hit, looking at his career, that's a, to me, it's a big accomplishment and much respect. Travis, do you think that there's a possibility because <laughs> of your experience, maybe even, I don't want to say working against you, but you think maybe there's a possibility because your experience compared to his experience that you might take him lightly? No, no, I don't take anybody lightly, especially him. He, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not dumb. I I watch some of his fights. I I, I understand he's a he's a veteran. I, I got a lot of respect for that. He, he's got you know some some good wins, credible wins. Um, you know, I watch some video. He's a tough dude, man. I I would never over overlook him. So, Junior M1 Global is like super awesome, huge promotion. So it's got to be one exciting to be on one of their fight cards. <laughs> Um, is the plan after this fight, hopefully, to continue with M1, or was this like a one-and-done kind of thing? Not, well, I talked to Angel, and uh, we kind of just, we'll, we'll see how this fight goes, and we'll play from there, but I wouldn't mind uh, fighting for them again. I love to travel. You know, I'm always traveling. I just got back from Colombia. Oh, there um, you go. I, I'm always traveling, man. I love traveling, and uh, Angel mentioned some possibilities some opportunities so win or lose we'll see how it goes but uh oh man i'm excited i just want to go in there and bang uh, travis and we kind of hinted towards it already but uh you said the you know the hundredth fight that that milestone is is pretty important to you at this point in your career uh because i i think it's just such a big factor what are your main goals career-wise um i mean i'm a realistic person i realize that I'm not going to compete with the top guys anymore. I'm, you know, I'm 41 years old. And I'm slowing down, and I've got a career outside of fighting now. And and uh, you know, I'm I'm a self self realistic person. Um, that being said, I, I still enjoy the competition. I mean, that's why I'm still doing it. I still love getting out there and competing, and I still love the training and and, and you know, competing and and with the younger guys. It's it's still exciting to me. So. Uh, that being said, I mean that's my motivation still is just just going out and competing and, and, and to me it's still fun. The training's still fun. Once the training's not fun anymore, you know, then I'll definitely look at not doing this anymore. Obviously, I'm I'm not making tons of money and, and you know not in it for the fame anymore. I just I enjoy the competition. So, when all the smoke is clear, Travis, is there any kind of uh, you know is the word legacy is is there anything like that that's important to you, or is it just like you said? Is it just kind of you're basically just kind of like, you know, for paydays. I don't know. I, guys like me really don't have a legacy. You know, I, I started when it wasn't even called MMA. It was called NHB. You know, I mean, it, I don't really look at it as a legacy. You know, I, I look at guys like, you know, Jeremy Horn, Dan Severn. Those guys have legacies. Yeah. Um, you know, those are guys that I looked up to coming up when I was, when I was getting started. And, and um, I've never really looked at it as a legacy. I just, I, I, I enjoy, you know, competition, and, and this is the, the truest form of competition there is. So, Junior, so I, lo I looked at your record, and unfortunately, your la not unfortunately, but your last fight was April of 2017. But I did see that you did have other fights that just didn't, didn't happen for whatever reason yeah do you obviously you're still training but do you feel ring rust is ever a factor or are you just in the gym like every day's fight camp Nah, ring rust to me i don't i don't see ring rust as a factor because you know i go in there i'm pretty loose and mellow i don't 
Man, I've, if you seen some, if you know some of the fights I've gone to, I've gone without a corner. I've gone by myself. I just <laughs> like, I just like to fight, bro. Right. You know, nah, it was just injuries, injuries dating back from high school wrestling, all my years in the army, and then just not taking care of my body the way I should have. Uh, I didn't listen to my coaches when I was younger. I would never stretch. <laughs> And then now as I'm getting older, I see, you know, you wake up after a hard day of training and you can't walk for a couple hours. You got to ice everything. So, yeah. yeah, but no, nah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be good. Uh, it was a short notice fight, but they couldn't, they told me they couldn't find him an opponent. I was like, man, he needs a fight. I go, he needs a fight. We need to put on the show for the fans. And I was actually born in Yuma. So I, I got a, I, there got, you go. I got some of my family coming up, even from uh, my wild side come up from Mexico. So it's gonna be a fun night, man. It's gonna be a fun night. Travis, is there anything Junior can throw at throw at you at this point that you haven't seen already? Um, no, probably not. But that doesn't mean that you know. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm overlooking him, or it doesn't mean I, I you know, I can't be surprised. I mean, he's a tough dude, man. So it's gonna be an exciting night. I'm excited. I'm sure he's excited. It's gonna be fun. Junior, one, and I know we keep going back to this, but this is a question everybody would ask. So knowing the difference in the amount of fights, does that bother you at all mentally or in preparation? Or you're just here, like you said, just here to fight? It's going to no, be a good man. time? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know, man. I, I've been fighting since I was in fourth grade. I grew up with <laughs> older brothers, no older cousins, and I grew up in Salinas, California, man. If you look it up, you'll see how, how ghetto it is. So... I grew up, if I got beat up in the streets, my cousins would beat me up when I would see them. And then my, wow. dad, wasn't, my dad wasn't too easy to grow up with either. So it, it, was, uh, it was an easy man growing up. So, right. so fighting is just fighting. Yeah. All right, so I go, I've been fighting since I was in fourth grade. And I know it's different. MMA is different. But to me, I've always done everything that, you know, that might be hard for other people. I, I think I have a strong mind and... You know, it, it's just, like I said, it's going to be fun. He needed an opponent. I go, man, I stepped up. You know, psh, why not? You know what I mean? What's, what's a, you know, what's the worst thing that happened? I lose. I still went in there with a vet, and I had a great time. And as uh, as long as I put on the show, man, that's all that matters to me. And I have fun, you know? Like you said, he does it because he loves it. I love it, too. I go, they don't pay enough to for the injuries we get or for the beatings we get. You know, but you do, you got to do it because you love it. You're doing it for the money, and you're not one of those, like, top UFC trash-talking guys, and you're in the wrong sport. Now, this question, please, it's for both of you, but it's not meant to drum up any trash talk. But obviously, you're both showing up that night to win the fight. Nobody shows up like, hey, I'm going to go in and lose. So, Travis, I'll start with you. If you had to figure a way how you would see this fight ending, what, what would you think it would be, your, your prediction for the fight? I mean, I'm sure Junior's seen my fights. I, I'm going to grind on him and try to take him down and submit him and, and ground and pound. I think there's uh, there's no secret. You know, there's plenty of my fights out there to watch. And, and uh, there, there's really no secret what I'm going to try to do. And there's no secret what he's going to try to do, man. He, he hits hard and he moves well. He's going to try to, you know, knock me out. I'm going to try to take him down. There's, there's no secret what's going to happen. <laughs> Does that sound accurate, Junior? The classic grappler that, versus striker. That sounds accurate. That sounds see how accurate. easy. See how easy that was. Boom! Got it all yeah. solved. <laughs> and so obviously, this is probably the last time you guys are probably going to interact with each other up until fight week. Uh, again, you know, not to draw up anything, but. Uh, what are any final words you want each other to know before the fight? And again, Travis, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, Junior, I want you to know I got a lot of respect for you for being a veteran, man. I read that, and is that correct that you had like two tours overseas? Yeah, two tours and overseas. I, I respect that, and I appreciate that what you did for this country, man. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you. And uh, you know, I respect you, man. All the fights you got is um, I like I said, man. I took the fight once they mentioned your name. I was like, I'm in. You know what I mean? But uh, I respect you as a fighter, as a veteran. And, uh, you know, after after the fight, man, whoever wins, the dinner's on that person. There we go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, Absolutely. guys, we'll check them out. They're going to be in the, the co-main event of uh, M1 Global Thursday, April 4th, 2019, uh, at the Quichon Casino Resort, Winter Haven, California. 
only on UFC Fight Pass, Junior Lugo versus Travis Few. Check it out. Don't miss it. Uh, it's going to be a barn burner for sure. For Joshua Furs, for Nick Portell up there, we're Combat Insiders, and we're out. Get Thanks, him, baby. <laughs>